one minute If I said it, yeah, I mean it Big why I need it I'm just going for the finish Bad bitch, she with it She just want my bang roll Can't trust these niggas I just keep my aim close Hold up, one minute 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 If I said it, yeah, I mean it Big why I need it I'm just going for the finish I know you, yeah, you know me. Uh, big bang roll, I gotta keep that thing on me. Ayy, shoddy back, she tryna put that thing on me. Ayy, thought you was my homie, but you played on me. Ayy, started from the bottom, I was both say wildin'. Big bang roll, I got it now. When you both say solid, she ran through, got mileage now. I don't want that mileage. I rock all designer now, Gucci, Louis, Prada. Hold up, one minute. If I said it, yeah, I mean it. Big why I need it. I'm just going for the finish. Bad bitch, she with it. She just want my bang roll. Can't trust these niggas. I just keep my aim close. Hold up. Hello, everybody. Uh, today, I'm feeling a sneaker collection. Or just something extra, something fun, you know. Um, while I'm doing a sneaker video, uh, there will be like specific shoes that I do go into like story time or whatever, um, just to give a story behind it. So that's why I love doing YouTube videos, you know, because I get to talk and I get to, you know, just be vulnerable and just let out what's on my mind. So um, something that means a lot to me is sneakers, shoes. And so, you know, that's going to be a big way, a fun way to express who I am, express you know, just my creativity. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, probably start out with just going around the room, each section. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> so to start out, um, yeah, that is there. There's a hole in the door, but hey, you know what I'm saying? Got the, got the home for a good price. You just gotta do what you gotta do. We got the vans um slash these are just like side shoes you got the little dress up stuff up there too and i just kind of throw stuff together not the best but yes you know you got the converse right there we got some you know beat up work shoes right here steel toe shout out logistics if you're in warehouse um ooh, also come on the fire heat the steel toe as well you know what i'm saying you gotta have it for the warehouse safety um yeah there ain't really nothing to explain about the vans vans were my favorite shoes at one point but not really anymore so they kind of just sit there yeah this is down to the bottom of this closet we got the spare boxes extra boxes whatever in there right here this is actually an important section to me so these shoes right here all mean something to me um the white harashis um they remind me that god is in control no matter what the situation is uh, if you trust in him then you can always come clean you know what i'm saying um yeah there's a long story behind those shoes but we'll just keep that to ourselves and just know that those mean a lot to me anyways we got the come on come on the chris Evans Oh, whoa, I, I gotta show you the back too Come on You got the S-W-A-G You know what that spells Oh, we used to hoop everybody up In middle school with these The Hyper Dunks Then you come on over to another important pair of shoes to me we beat to the ground LeBron Soldiers um, I used to hoop in California uh, every day with these outside on the King's Court. I believe it's on 9th Street. Shout out King's Court, Sacramento, California. These right here, I believe they're like the Son of Mars or something like that. I don't, it wasn't mine and I ain't never even worn them. Um, but shout out to my cousin Jerry. They mean a lot to me because you inspired me to play basketball when I was a little kid um what's crazy is you're like trash now and you just you know <laughs> it's like I love you but <laughs> like when we started playing you used to 
you know, dog me. Like, I had no chance against you. But you taught me to, you know, just keep going, keep working hard. And, you know, eventually I grew to be six foot eight. You know, that's where I'm at now. You know, I'm just a tall guy and I'm just skilled. So, you know, you you motivated me to, you know, just believe in myself. And now, um, yeah, you, you cannot beat me at all. So, hey, anyways, on to the next ones. Uh, we got, hey. You got the roller skates. Shout out to my grandpa. These were his. Passed them down to me. These I don't wear. Um, I kind of like to ice them out, you know. Just people wear these when they first come out and they're just kind of overplayed to me or kind of people hype them up and it makes them, um, I don't know, like, how do you say it? I just, I don't like wearing shoes that everybody else wears. So I kind of just keep them on ice and just, yeah, these ones are starting to yellow up there. Um, yeah, man. Y'all need some DS shoes, dead stock. Let me know. Let me know, let me know. I won't sell them to you, but hey, you can still let me know. <laughs> well, again, extra boxes up there. Um, right here we got my first pair of shoes right there and then we got my foot now um, not my favorite shoe a lot of people think those are my favorite shoes but it's only because that was my first baby shoe yeah, that's why I display it like that um, these is actually my favorite shoes right now the cool gray 11s so i keep it over there in, in the isolated box because i like to just you know let people know what my favorite is when they walk up in here they don't touch them you can touch these don't don't you know don't touch that one i swear i just seen something move behind me but i'm not sure anyways if you caught that ghost in the video just let me know and i will have to handle it uh, let's get into it. Anyways. All right. We got the Air Force collection. Let me show you guys. So we got all the Air Feezies, you know. That's all the ones I have. These Air Force Wheats. I don't really know what the official name be, but... I like them, good color. Um, yeah, so all these, you know what these are. I don't gotta say a lot. I got three because um, one of them, I believe was too big. Um, and also I left them in my car. So I don't know if you can tell, but the, the bottoms, uh, they turned yellow. Like I left them in the back of my car. And the sun was really beaming. These are the ones that fit me, and they are not yellowing quite yet. Uh, still clean. I gotta get another pair though because the creasing though, like it be, I don't know. Like I don't really like, you know. You take one step and it's just it's the crease is there forever. So. Yeah, they be making a lot of money off these shoes because you, you just got to get new ones. You just got to do it. You know, it's mandatory. These ones were, um, they were too big, but I was just wearing them for beaters. <sighs> Talking about beaters, uh, boy, boy. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, these was like, I don't know. Yeah, these are some real black Air Forces, you know, I was doing something with those. And then, these are supposed to be the clean ones. Supposed to be, I think they're creasing too. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. On to the next, though, you know. Who's are those? Is it Jay for me?
Next up, we got the Air Max collection. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Air Max bacon. Uh, Air Max. I don't even know the colorway. They would just have the Nike uh, discount for ninety four. Wow, yeah, I've been out the game for a while. I think these are Air Max. Ooh, wow. I don't know. Because I... Ooh. Air Max 90, 95? 90, 95? I don't know. Wow, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys just grill me in the comments, even though you guys don't be commenting anyways. But these, I know these are the Vapor Maxes. Um, woman's release. Yes, I love pink. I don't care what all you guys say, all you girls say. Men, you gotta wear pink. I think pink is a good color, so yeah. Um, I'll let you guys guess what my favorite color is. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell by the shoes, but I used to have a lot of my favorite colored shoes, but I sold a lot, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think my favorite color is. How about that? So on to the next ones. We got the Harashi collection right here. It's supposed to be a black pair, but it's just, it, you know, imagine that it exists. Shout out to Abdul for taking my black ones. Actually, you didn't take them. I let you wear them for one day at work and that one day turned into a consistent wear so now they're yours but yeah i hope they're still doing good for you um i miss them i gotta get some more maybe you can buy me some more shout out shout out Abdul. shout out Abdul for me. you got the white harachis not the dirty ones that i showed you earlier red harachis red <laughs> on to the next ones bow bow I really like these shoes, you know? The foam posits are like, everybody, actually I don't care what everybody says, but you know, you hear a lot like, okay, sneaker heads gotta have a pair of foam posits in their collection. And honestly, like, I would have to agree because they, they just look good. They don't feel good when you're wearing them at all, but I just think they really have a unique look to them, you know? People be hooping in these, boy. Yeah, I don't even know how y'all do it, but yeah. Boom. Boom. Got some Yeezys. I know this is the Oreo colorway. I do know that. Um, but yeah, Yeezys is the most comfortable shoe in my opinion. As for now, this is my only pair, but like I look at them all the time and I be wanting to pay for them, you know, like, that's a lot of money, but, hey, I think that it's comfortable, I think they're worth it, so, if you haven't invested in some Yeezys, I think you should, because they are clouds, they are marshmallows, for real, for real. Man, take me back, come on, I know you guys remember the Roche, the Roche, the Roche, the Roche, I still haven't figured out how to say it, but the Roshis used to be one of my favorite shoes. Take me back all the way to like what, like 2015, 16, 17, uh, maybe earlier than that. Uh, man, this was like the summer shoe, you know? I used to have like the, they used to, they had like the red pair and the, the black and white pair. They had like the speckles at the bottom of the sole. This just touched my face. I hope you guys didn't see that. Um, yeah, man, the Roshi ones go crazy. Next collection um, in my collection, uh, we got the UGG collection. Gray ones, black ones. What do they call this brown? Uh, brown. Beige, nah, that's not beige. 
Yeah, we got the brown ones. Um, and then you got the beautiful, my favorite in my collection right now, you know what I'm saying? Because they're so convenient, so comfy. Um, shout out to my dog. That was his drool, I think. He be trying to mess up all my shoes, but yeah. Uggs, man. Uggs. Can't go wrong with Uggs. Everybody get some Uggs. Where I'm in the summertime, the wintertime, the springtime, the 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 the, 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 the fall time, the any time because they are very very convenient. Oh yeah, and uh, these are men's numeral. Men's men's numeral. Is that how you say it? Uh, yeah, I'm sure everybody knows what these are, but. Yeah, just so you know, just in case you want to get a pair. But yeah, on to the next collection. We have the Blazer Collection. So, Blazer Low. Again, I don't know the specific names, but it gives you that, like, that off-white vibe with the tongue. You know, these are like the broke boy off-white shoes to get. So that's why I had to get some, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, these haven't been worn yet. Uh, um, neither have these. Again, same shoes, red. 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 I don't know how I'm saying. You got the red, red, red. But yeah, blazer, blazer, blazer. Oh yeah, I guess the story behind these ones. These, I wanted these so bad when I was a kid. Um, living in California, like, that was like the culture. Um, I was in like fifth grade, man. That was like 2007. That was like back when, you know, teach me how to jerk or I'm, <laughs> I'm tripping. Teach me how to Dougie. Uh, teach me how to Dougie. You're a jerk. Like, all those music videos was going viral. Um, and it was just a vibe. Like, I don't know. I just remember those songs and just that culture back in the day. Everything was cool. Everything was sweet. Everybody had these shoes. Everybody at my school. All the sixth graders and fifth graders. Um, I could never get a pair. Um, so, yeah. Had to, had to cop some blazers. These, my fiance hates these because they look like clown shoes, but watch when I do these up. Watch when I lace these up. Hey, everybody hit me up for lace tutorials, lace anything. I'll lace your shoes, make them look good. But here's the secret though. All I do is just loosen them up. Because hey, I mean, it just makes it look good, you know? You don't gotta, suffocate your ankle like that you know but anyways i'm talking too much so me next we got the presto collection i need some more colors in these but uh um shout out my fiance you know i uh they're a little dirty because i went on a very special hiking trip uh also happened to be like a death sentence because the hike was so hard and it was worth it though you know uh i proposed on that hike in these so i mean that would be the story behind these and you got the white prestos these is nice you know my fiance got some of these too she's trying to be like me but it's all good i get it oh dang i remember uh i don't know if you can see that uh, yeah, so I spilled ketchup on these, but, uh, I had crepe protect on them, and it didn't really protect them, so now they have a ketchup stain on them. Shout out Cam Lake High School. I ate a lot of ketchup at lunchtime. Anyways. So next, we got the basketball shoe collection. Um, all my basketball shoes, I think. Yeah, all my basketball shoes that I got, uh, because you know I'm just a, I'm just a hooper, you know. I mean, 
yeah. I was gonna talk something. I was gonna talk mess, but I'm not even gonna say nothing. Kevin Durant, Tens, I believe. KD Tens. Detail. Really nice on these, you know what I'm saying? Oop, don't look at the bottom. <laughs> uh, we got the... We got the Crispy Kyrie... Kyrie... Kyrispy. Crispy Cream. Kyrie's, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, Kobe. Uh, Kobe. You know what I'm saying? I don't got a lot of Kobe's, but I wish I did. Because they go for crazy prices now since he passed away. Which is really weird. That's weird. A weird way to make money off people. But, um, yeah. Shout out Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he got LeBron's. He's back. I don't like LeBron. Oh, wow. I didn't even show these. Um. Kobe's, uh, Kobe Tins. Um, these used to be high top, but I, I snip, snip, snip those. I snip them. Um, kind of created like my own little low top Kobe. Uh, I think the, the only part that looks weird is like the tongue part, but I think it looks better like low top for real. Um, but yeah, Kobe Tins, you know. We got some more Kyrie's, Kyrie Fords, uh, Uncle Drew. I was wearing these in my uh, Day in the Life with Snae video. Very inspirational. Shout out to my father, Stephen Curry. Your shoes are uncomfortable. Actually, no, just this model. Um, yeah, I got blisters like right here on my foot when I was wearing these, but I, I wore these in my intramural college championship game and I lost, so these, these are trash to me, you know. We got some Adidas. I never wore these, but I tried them on when I bought them. They were super comfortable. I think all Adidas shoes are comfortable because they got the, you know, the, the squishy, squishy, squishy stuff. Um, the same Yeezys and stuff like that. So, yeah. Same thing here. Adidas. Crazy light boost. These used to be booming, popular, you know, super crazy because Lonzo Ball used to wear them. And I believe, uh, uh, what's his name? Kyle Lowry still wears these. But yeah, they're one of the most best, uh, most comfortable basketball shoes. Tongue got some good cushion. Obviously, uh, squishy, squishy stuff in there too. But yeah, they're too big on me for real. So if you're trying to buy these, let me know. Some more Adidas, Dame Dollar, Tala, with a Tala on his neck. Yeah, Dame Dollar shoes, Dame Lillard, super comfortable. They don't got the squishy, squishy, but they just got some basic cushion. I really like them, I really like them. Shout out Donovan, you were supposed to get these with me, but you never did. Boom, 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 boom. Curry 7s, man. This is, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but the Sour Patch, Stephen Curry's. Um, shout out to my brother, Calvin Salone. He got me these for Christmas. And then I ended up wearing them in a school basketball game the next day after Christmas. And, you know, they just made me the best player ever uh, because Stephen Curry. You know, Stephen Curry shoes. Wow. I almost forgot. These Kobe's, very special to me. Um, shout out to my sister, Michaela. She literally doesn't remember buying these, but... I begged her like a little toddler for these. I seen them in the mall when I was in California 
and they were like on sale or something and i was like whoa like these go for crazy prices like why are these on sale you know and so i was like it's my birthday sister can i get some money so you can buy me these i think i paid like half she paid half but yeah like she really came through um they're not the best like grip wise so i don't really hoop in them a lot but the look of them like i love the look of them um material and stuff like that and just yeah the meaning behind these like i just appreciate that she was there to you know give me shoes and i'm a i'm a i'm a family person like i don't believe that blood defines family so the fact that you know like we're not blood related but she's really my sister you know she came through she shows that she loves me um you know she's looking out good looking out appreciate you love you so much oh yeah i wore these when i beat gene in the game of love last video go check that video out back to basics uh okay so for the grand finale kind of um, I'm going into the Jordans, the, Jor the Jordan collection. Um, so starting off with Jordan 1s, we have Royal, Royal Jordan 1s. And then we got <sighs> top three Jordan 1s. Um, these shoes are really nice. Uh, Last time I wore these, I was actually, I believe, like, just graduated high school or something like that. Um, me and my brother, Jacob Simonson, um, I wore these thinking that I was about to get into a basketball game. Shout out Kevin Porter. I think it was Rainer Beach versus Garfield. Uh, ended up standing outside in the rain since we are in Washington. Uh, and, yeah, they kind of got messed up, like. I mean, they, they're cool, like, they still look cool, but just being in the rain all night, standing in line, trying to get a ticket, it didn't really go well, but, yeah, so, Jordan 1s. On to the Jordan 3s, we got Fire Red 3s, um, got these in California, Kicks Unlimited, man, that was one of my favorite shoe stores, um, they got robbed, so I think they're shut down right now, but. Praying for your guys' comeback. Y'all was legit in the in the Sac Town area. Um, Y'all know what these are. I think I love these because I really believe that you can wear these. I'm not going to say the cliche thing like everything. Oh my gosh. But like a suit. Like you can wear these with a suit. That would go crazy. You know, wedding day stuff. Like. It's a Jordan, and people think it's just basketball shoes, but this is, like, it's really casual. It's really dressy. It's really, like, it's really everything, you know? So, yeah. Air Jordan 3s, man. Come on. Uh, cement 4s. I mean, the story behind these, these are my favorite shoe in the collection. I mean, these are just, they're pretty, man. They're pretty, dude. They are pretty, you know? You guys know what these are, though. Uh, story behind these, like, a little, a little story. Uh, shout out Bow Wow. <laughs> Lottery Ticket. Um, great movie. Funny movie. Sneakerhead movie, for sure. He was wearing these, but it wasn't the Nike Air Edition. It actually was the 2012 Jordan 4 Cements that has the Jordan symbol on the back. Yeah, so I'm still waiting to get the ones with the Jordan sign on the back, uh, like the ones in the movie lottery ticket. Um, but yeah, on to the Air Jordan 5s. We got the... We got the metallic Jordan 5. Um, Love these shoes, man. Shout out moms. Got these for my birthday. Um, we got the <laughs> something something five. I don't even know. They're white and they look good. Uh, just noticed they're a little bit dirty. Uh, I don't believe that's a ketchup stain. It probably is a ketchup stain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
Jordan fives. Jordan sixes. We got the Carmine sixes. Uh, I bought these worn, but like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. We got the infrared sixes. Maroon. <laughs> Maroon sixes. Yes, yes. Up next, we got the. Aqua Jordan 8s, I think. Yes, sir. As for the Air Jordan 10, I think these are called like the Stealth. Stealth 10s or something like that. Uh, I'm not quite sure. But I actually, for these are my basketball shoes. That's why I look all messed up. And look like you are tightening up the ankles. Yes, basketball shoes, but yeah. So we got the Air Jordan 11 collection right now. Not much to say about the Jordan 11s. They speak for itself. Um, really beautiful shoe another shoe that i feel like you can really just dress up with you know um red <clears throat> yeah so i don't know i mean there's not a lot to say they just i don't know they look good like you could hoop in them go to a wedding in them go to a nice fancy dinner with them um wear them on a nice summer day um yeah, like, they're just a go-to. You just, uh, just gotta make sure you don't, like, beat them up or nothing. I feel like this is the only shoe that don't really look good when it's beat up. Because, like, that shiny stuff right there, <laughs> the patent leather, it just, I don't know, like, if that starts creasing, it's a wrap. I can't do it. But, yeah, man. Oh, my God. You see that? Oh, my God. I hope you don't see that. Yeah, these are dirty, but cherry, cherries, cherries, cherry on top. Oh, ooh, ooh. Got the Columbia's, you know what I'm saying? Story behind these, um, graduated in these. Actually, that's a lie. Uh, did not walk the stage in these, but I uh, uh, gave my graduation speech in these. Um, so yeah. <sighs> Um, shout out to the judge who judged me, um, in my high school graduation speech. Um, she said these weren't dressy enough, so she docked me points. But I still passed, uh, but that's kind of messed up. Just because you don't like Jordans doesn't mean they're not dressy. Um, but she has a point though, like they're not dressy, but they could be dressy. I think that's just an opinion thing. So she didn't have to let her opinion out on me like that. Cause I had a hundred percent on all my scores for my presentation until that one lady like docked me down for that. Anyways, I got dress shoes now. I didn't back then, but I got them now. So I'm sure she would be proud of me now. Um, yeah, anyway, shout out Kim Lake High School. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. On to the last pair of my Jordan collection, 12s. Red 12s. No, they're not called that. Um, I don't know what these are called, but I just got them because they're all red. And you can never go wrong with red shoes. But yeah, let's go into my favorite shoes in my collection and the stories behind them. So first and foremost, um, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Um, mind you, this is a video that I've wanted to do since I was like 13 years old coming into high school. 
Um, yeah, I just always wanted to do a sneaker collection video. Always watching them when I was a kid growing up. Like, you know, it may be boring nowadays. This is not really the thing that people watch anymore, but something that I have a passion for. So that's why I'm here. Uh, I'm actually not sure the for sure name of these, but um, growing up, I had an idol. His name was Paul Johnson. Um, and I seen him wearing these. And, you know, back then being young, like, you know, you don't have a job. I didn't, I didn't have a job. Um, I didn't have no money. Um, and like, you know, I would ask my mom for stuff, but she didn't really know where to get that stuff. Uh, you know, shoes in general. Um, cause like stuff like this is like rare. Well, in a way, I mean, I'm sure you could find them somewhere, but like, you know what I mean? The parents didn't really know where to go to get shoes and stuff like that. And like your idol, like my idol, I didn't, you know, I, I was young. So I was like, it's older dudes that you're looking up to, you know, when they're playing basketball or you just see Instagram posts or whatever it is. Um, but he, you know, he passed away now. Um, so I hope you're up there with God right now. Just, you know, having a good time with God. I know he's got you right. Um, I pray that everybody who's still here on earth is taking care of your baby girl, Rose, your family. Um, you know, you're important to this world, man. You, uh, made a big impact. You know, you had a great smile, lit up the world. Um, you were just a light, bro. And seeing you hoop, seeing you, you know, just do what you did. We was in a, a really long relationship and it showed that, you know, a light skinned brother like me, we didn't have to always play around and you know, talk to that girl and talk to this girl and have side pieces and, you know, going out with this girl and going out with that girl. Like, you chose who you wanted and you were going to marry her, you know, and, you know, you had a kid with her and you was with her for a long time. And I used to look up to that. Like, I really wanted a long lasting relationship. Um, so, yeah, like, you inspired me, bro. Shout out to Paul Johnson. Continue to rest in Peace, man. We love you, bro. This is the first one. On to the next. So, my next pair of shoes. The Kevin Durant Sixes. What the? What the? Meaning, like, what the heck is all these colors? What the? Like, what the? Like, when you see them, you're like, what the? You know, but for me, I like that. Like, it's a, it's a lot of different colorways mashed into one colorway. And I think it's super creative. Like, they do this to a lot of different shoes now. But I really, you know, this was an older version of a shoe. Like, this is KD6s. Now he's into, like, KD15s or something like that. So it was a while back. That's when they kind of started doing the what the whole creative idea. Um, but, yeah, I just love shoes, especially basketball shoes in general that pop. You know, like you go on the court, it gets next turning, you know. Uh, you're not only there to twist ankles, but you're there to twist necks too with your shoes. So it's just a way to express yourself on the court. And I, you know, the story behind these is that my fiance will go above and beyond for me. And that means a lot because this is a shoe that I wanted since I was freshman in high school seeing them on other people's feet uh could never afford them though like they was always expensive um for a pair of basketball shoes like you know yeezys and jordans are usually expensive but basketball shoes that you're about to play in and get dirty and people are gonna step on them like i never wanted to spend that much on basketball shoes so um i told my fiance how much they meant to me and she got them for me for a birthday present so thank you sweetheart um i love you and yeah you got me my favorite pair of shoes one of my favorite pair of shoes so thank you without you i would not have these on to the last shoe of the day of the night um Jordan 10s, powder blue. Uh, man, like these bring back so much memories. 
Um, I actually used to have this same pair, this same colorway, um, when I was younger. Uh, I think it was like a size eight and a half or something like that, eight and a half, nine, you know, like eight, eight and a half. Um, and it was my first shoe, my first Jordan, Jordan 13s, the breads. That was my actual first shoe. But growing up, um, you know, I didn't notice Jordans until like I went into high school and I seen somebody had these on their feet. It was at, actually at the mall, the South Center Mall um, here in Seattle, uh, Tukwila, whatever. And I seen somebody walking around in these. They had a general release, a GR. Um, at the mall and I didn't know nothing about these. I didn't know nothing about any type of Jordans or anything like that. So once everybody was wearing them, then I seen them, everybody had them. I was like, oh my God, like they just look good. Like when I was seeing people walking them, like bro, that was like the only shoe that popped to me. Like, I just love the way they look. Um, yeah, I mean, that's not really a super motivating story behind these, but yeah, I mean, it's just, you know what I'm saying? If you want something, go get it. Like, if it means something to you, if you got a passion for it, um, you know, for me, it's shoes, basketball, everything that I got in this room, you know, it means something to me. And um, I'm on here sharing with you guys, you know, just a passion of mine. It's something I love to do, something I love to talk about. Um, you know, I could be doing anything else, but I think it's important to just spend time with things that, you know, again, you have a passion for. So, yeah, um, if you guys took anything from this video, I hope that, you know what I'm saying, it just motivates you that anything's possible. I mean, all the cliche motivational statements, um, you know, keep, keep working hard, keep, you know, striving for your dreams. This room is actually a dream of mine, um, just having a closet space like instead of just one little closet you know like creating a whole room to look like you know those uh those those clothing stores or those those shoe stores um you know i've always wanted that since i was a kid shout out to the real ones who know like what my room used to look like um you know i had shoes all over the wall that's when i had a lot more shoes i actually sold a lot so having this now it means a lot man um means a lot and it's just yeah i just want to share that with you guys today uh this video is probably a little long but thank you to whoever watched um and yeah let me know if you guys want some more videos um i, I always say this like these comments you know really never happens but it's all good i just want you guys to let me know if you want specific content because i'd be away from youtube but i could really hop on here you know anytime like it's good if you guys want to see some you know i got clothes i got shoes <sighs> basketball stuff you know i love to talk as well so if you want to hear any more motivational talks um let's be real series still going on if you guys have any specific topics you want to talk about um all right man y'all have a good night and again appreciate y'all for staying this long if you're tuned in um Stay tuned.